What's going on everybody? This is Justin, otherwise known as the Flipping Accountant. I am a CPA full-time. My spare time, I like to buy stuff and resell it on the internet using Amazon, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace. Today is gonna to be a little something different. It is Labor Day, so naturally we are not taking a day off. So I am going to actually start by meeting somebody to sell a Nintendo Switch. Then I think I might hit a couple thrift stores, maybe a liquidation store. And if we don't find anything, maybe I'll end up at Walmart and see what else we can find. So anyways, thank you guys for being here. I hope you're all having a great day. So actually, we're going to start off today by selling or trying to sell a Nintendo Switch Lite. This Nintendo Switch Lite is brand new in the box, which I purchased from a local trade store. Basically what I do is when I go to estate sales or garage sales, I try to buy all of the DVDs or CDs in bulk. I sell the higher value items on Amazon or eBay, and then the junk DVDs, junk, I will trade into a local trade store. They normally give me more credit for trading credit than they would cash. So if I traded in a whole bunch of DVDs, I say I would get $100 cash or I'd get $200 credit. So I would rather just take the credit. Then essentially I use the credit to buy stuff like this like a brand new system and then turn around and resell it for cash on Facebook marketplace I already sold one Nintendo switch Lite that I bought used from the trade store I paid 150 from the trade store using my trade credit and I sold it for 160 cash which is pretty good for me because that's I basically just got it for free using all of my trade credit so this will be hopefully the second and last deal of today on this this was actually a little pricey this was 250 at the trade store which is a little more than you would see at a normal store it normally be like 200 it had a 15 percent off coupon for labor day so i used that that brought it down a little bit and again i just use trade credit so i don't really care so i'm meeting somebody today i'm going to be selling this for 180. this is the second time i've tried to meet with this person today the first time they uh, tried to meet with me they supposedly slept in so this is the second opportunity i'm giving them to meet with me and if they don't show up then i'm just going to sell it to somebody else and move on with my day pro tip when you are setting up me for Facebook Marketplace or meeting locally to sell stuff for cash. Meet somewhere safe that's well lit. I like to meet at a uh, city hall, police station, grocery stores occasionally. Just somewhere that I know, you know, I kind of feel safe. And we want you to feel safe too, especially if you're dealing with cash and meeting with people you've never met before. I would prefer not to have people meet me at my house. So I always try to meet somewhere local that's not far from my house. That way, if they don't show up, then it's not really that much of an inconvenience. So anyways, hopefully they show up. I think they just sent me a message. Let's see what they say. They said that they were three miles away. So let's see if this person actually shows up. Let's do this. Maybe some thrift stores, maybe some liquidation stores, maybe some Walmart. And I think they just pulled up. So uh, let's see what happens. All right, so we're off to a good start. We've got our 180 bucks cash that we got for the Nintendo Switch. Like I said, I just use store credit, so I'm happy with selling it a little bit less than market value. They save a little bit of money and everybody wins. So anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. Let's see what else we can find and we'll talk to you a little bit. All right, guys, so this is going to be stop number two. The first stop was a thrift store that was closed. Stop number two is going to be a liquidation store called Dirt Cheap. And I don't go here too often just because I haven't been finding a ton of good stuff lately. I did find 300 action figures here in one video. I'll go ahead and link it up here. But I'm going to look around and see if they have any really good uh, Labor Day deals, video games, electronics, toys, uh, health and beauty, any of that kind of stuff. So anyways, let's jump in. Let's see if we can find anything here, and I'll let you guys know. Just walking in, looks like they got tons of stuff going on here. Looks like they have a bargain buggy full of paint. 20 bucks for this entire cart full of paint. So I don't think that that's gonna work for me, but I do think I'm gonna look around a little bit. Looks like they have a lot of copies of Fallout 76. Looks like these are going to be $2 a piece for Fallout 76. So let's see, is it worth $2 a piece to buy these? And these are currently selling for Eight forty nine. Let's see. So not a lot of profit there. Let's see what else. So the prices are kind of all over the place. We've got eight forty nine, ten eighty five, ten ninety nine, twelve ninety nine. If it was at twelve ninety nine, it would be worth it. 
So let's see. At 1299. See at 1299 it would be Oops, I did that backwards. At $12.99, it'd be $4.54 profit for each one of these right here. But the price isn't quite there, so I don't know. We'll have to ask and see if maybe we can get a better deal on it. Um, I'll check the uh, PlayStation version here. This one's going for $10. Let's see, and that's kind of that's kind of tight because Amazon is selling it for $10. And if it sells for ten, gonna make two dollars profit on it. But you know, it's kind of a risk if you buy, you know, a couple hundred copies of this and then the price drops. There's not a whole lot of margin there. I'm gonna look around a little bit. Looks like they've got some shutter selfies, uh, selfie remotes for ninety percent off. I don't think those are really worth it. Those seem like they're kind of old. I've got some old Magnavox headphones. So these would be what, like three bucks? Yeah, so that's selling for what, like five bucks and it costs three, so it's not really worth it. So, I mean, they've got a lot of stuff, but sometimes it's just junk. Sometimes it's beat up or store return stuff, which is just not worth it. They do have some very sexy shoes for 50 cents a piece. Look at this. We could get all of these shoes for 50 cents a piece, then try and sell them for a buck a piece. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> so I'm going to look around a little bit. I'm going to see if there's anything I just can't live without. I'm kind of debating on those video games because they're two bucks a piece. The margins are kind of slim. So, you know, I I'm not sure if that would be worth it or not. I'm still kind of on the fence about it. Another part is the stickers don't come off really easily. So that would be another headache so anyways I'm gonna look around a little bit I'll let you guys know what happens here's something I was considering I was looking at these Zumba pants these are 90% off um, some of these are kind of a good deal I'll give you an example here like this one right here this one is selling for 32 bucks on Amazon. So if I paid five bucks, it'd be like a $17 profit on this right here. So some of these are good, some of these are not good. I don't really want to pay five bucks a piece for something like that, considering there's a few sellers and Amazon is on the listing. I would rather try to find something for a little bit cheaper. So let's scan another one of these. Like these ones right here are five bucks and they're selling for 20 so it'd make like a seven dollar profit so i mean it's kind of kind of neat i guess but um i don't know how well these are going to sell let's see again here's another one for 22 that's selling for that's five bucks so they've got some zumba stuff that might be worth it They've got some clothes for like a dollar or less, but a lot of this is like off-brand name stuff. So, and honestly, I really just don't like messing with clothing. So that's part of my problem too. So I'm gonna look around a little bit. We'll see what else we can find. Uh, this is another thing that I'm kind of considering. There's a whole bunch of these colored pencils for 90% off. So these are normally four bucks. So for 90% off, these are gonna be 40 cents a pound. I'm gonna scan this. I'm gonna show you guys my thought process here. So there's two listings. I'm gonna pick the listing with the better rank here. And it has a good rank. It has uh, quite a few reviews. It's selling for $8.53 with gross proceeds of $4.55. So that means for each 40 cent pack, I would make $4 profit. But I have concerns about this because there's literally nobody else on the listing, like nobody else other than Amazon in here. So I would be concerned that this might have um, copyright infringement, um, IP claims, like the company might complain about people selling their products. So if that's the case, I don't really want to get in trouble for selling this company's products if they don't want other people selling them. So 
Let's see, they've also got some classic markers here. Let's see. The classic markers are selling for $6.22. And in the store here, they're 60 cents. So you pay 60 cents and you make about a dollar twenty. So you know there's 200 percent return on investment right there. This looks like it's pretty good. The rank is good. The review count looks good. And there's no FBA sellers. So if I ship these in the FBA, I'd be the only person selling them right now. So I don't know. I might have to go in for 60 cents a piece. It might be worth the uh might be worth it. I don't know. These are the uh, the triangular pencils right here. These ones are 11, so these would be a dollar a piece. And at a dollar a piece, you'd be making like two bucks. So you'd be making two dollars a piece on these. So if these sold well, uh, oh, that's another toy. So I don't know. I'm thinking about grabbing some of these or maybe just grabbing a few. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you would give these a try. Uh, 60 cents, 40 cents, a dollar. Let me know what you think about those. If you pick them up or not, why? Let me know down there. So after walking around the store a little bit, I came back and all of the Fallout 76 games had been moved to this red bin. And there was a couple guys and a lady that was starting to go through them and they were starting to grab stacks of them. And I decided it was pretty much time to jump right in and start grabbing some myself. So I decided to grab a bunch and then see if I could work out a better deal with the manager. Okay. Just count them. Let me okay. know how many you got. That's and we'll go from there. Sounds good. Thank you. All right, so just to show you guys what I'm up to, I talked to the manager and I'm buying all of the Fallout 76s and they were $2 a piece, but I told him if I bought all of them, I would do a dollar a piece. He kind of hemmed and hawed a little bit, but he said he would do it if I took all of them. Now, the only thing is I'm putting aside the ones that have ripped packaging or if the disc is loose, because if the disc is loose, then it could get damaged on the inside. So. I'm going through and sorting through the ones that have these ones are all in good shape that are the seal is good the disc is good these ones are all in good shape these ones are all in good shape i don't have a final tally yet but i will shortly and then i will let you guys know all right that was a ton of fun so just to let you guys know i did finish counting everything and this is what we ended up with here we've got all of these right here and then these stacks over here so each stack has about 30 of them and we've got 11 stacks, so it's about 330 plus another five, so we've got 335. So they're gonna be a buck a piece, so it should be 335 for all of this right here. Plus, um, these are the ones that we're leaving behind uh, because the packaging is ripped. So, I mean, again, $2 was a fair price. I feel like a dollar is a fair price, an even better price, because I have to take the time to peel off all these stickers right here. So that's gonna take some time and effort and energy to go through and do all that stuff. Plus, it's gonna take a while for these to sell. You know, buying a big bulk deal like this, this, especially with the same games, it takes quite a while to sell. Anyways, I think we're doing really good, guys. So we've got about 335 games. I'm gonna cash out, see where we're at total. And then we're going to get out of here and maybe we'll do a little more shopping. So if you guys are enjoying the video so far, hit the thumbs up button for me. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking of the video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll talk to you later. What's going on, everybody? So I think we did really good. We got 330 video games plus a couple treats for Bernie that I think he's really going to like. And I've got all the games here. I still need to put them in bags, but say we average about $3 a piece profit, 330 there's almost a $1,000 profit right here. I have to peel all the stickers. There is going to be some work involved. It is going to take a while to sell these games, but overall, I think it was a pretty good deal, and I'm pretty excited about it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and we'll talk to you later.